before the video starts. This is the last script I'm reading today and hopefully tomorrow my voice is back to normal. Now let's have some fun with shadows. Did you practice your shading yet? Well do not worry if you didn't, because today we have the most common type of shading as our daily fundamental. These super common types of shadows are cast shadows. Now they are not found more often than ambient occlusion shadows, but they are more common as in you have definitely heard of them. Not only have you heard, seen and probably already drawn cast shadows before quite often, understanding them is super easy as well. Because cast shadows are just as the name implies, they are cast by an object that is lit from any angle and every cast shadow is directly opposed to the light source. To know where you gotta put cast shadows in a drawing, you can just imagine your light source is a giant airbrush that sprays paint and everywhere the paint doesn't hit will be a cast shadow. Another thing to know about these types of shadows is that they have a relatively hard edge that gets softer and softer the greater the distance the shadow is cast over. And if they are cast onto a surface that bends or creases, the shadow will adapt to that surface, making it, for example, super short. Also know that a cast shadow that is laid over the darkest ambient occlusion shadow you have is always the darkest thing you should have in your drawing. I mean it doesn't get darker than double shadow, right? And just know that cast shadows don't get darker because they are bigger. Now last tip for today is just don't shade with pure black, except you draw some kind of cartoon style. I mean have you ever seen pure black? I mean really pure black somewhere in nature? Probably not. That about does it for cast shadows. They're not as scientific as ambient occlusion shadows, but not all things need to be hard to learn in order to be hard to master, right? With that said, goodbye and happy drawing.